Kelly loves to just sit and look out over her land. Oh, she heard me. Well, I am taking some time off. Gosh, these chickens. Sorry. Here you go. Back it up. They love to eat that bird seed. Oh, Finnick. Anyway, I am taking um, some time off work to work on projects that I need to get done. So you can tell we you've seen from previous videos that we've repurposed this picket fence. There's some that are broken and I need to fix that and then repaint. I finally had success, if you look in the back of the truck, on getting these um, pressure treated they're, called, they're like landscape timbers, like this one, um, that uh, I'm using for fencing. And so we finally got 20 more of them. I had to drive to Camden to get them, but we got them. And so I'm gonna spend some time trying to fence this in. Um, I need to go from here down to behind that pear tree in the hammock you can see a fence post. So I need to do that. Um, and then we'll have the back fence. I may repurpose those fence posts as well if I get ambitious. And then I gotta go from there up the hill to the barn. So it's going to be a pretty big project uh, to get this all fenced in. That down there, just that one strip of fencing took me a full day. And I've got today and tomorrow off, um, mostly devoted to fencing. So hopefully I can knock it out. Huh, Belly? Sorry. Let's see if I can get her. There we go. Huh, Belly? And it's 90 degrees outside. You get watermelon. What you doing with that? Give Marilyn her own because she's special. Was that good? That's a yummy watermelon. Yeah. And there's someone new noni. They haven't done this in a while. Got Marilyn with her own special watermelon over there. <laughs> Seriously, they haven't jumped up on me in a while. It's so hot. It's night, like I said, 90 degrees. Miserable. Marilyn have her own and Finnick will leave her alone and the babies are that's a sharp knife no no what you say I'm cleaning your beak
Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping lights paint the skies. All because. big one they just like hide in there so you don't even know bikini for days so mad at myself so i didn't pick this nice purpley one and it's kind of gone by and the white one i was too lazy so i picked this one that was starting to bloom to see how that'll go and then i have this nice one and then a little uh the pinkish uh, peach one came back so i'm doing good they're so pretty You guys uh, saw a time lapse. Sorry, I'm out of breath of me trying to go at this hole. That's way bigger than what I need, but it was because that rock was there, so I had to go get a pry bar and a shovel and get that rock out. All right, so I've laid out the posts, and now the manual labor. Time to dig the holes. This has been dig, dig, digging all day trying to get this fence done so that Belly can be a free range pooch. He's really digging down in there. And he said, yeah, he's got nasty blisters on his pinkies. Belly, that's fine. This is the one that didn't go far down there because there's a tarp. I swear it's a dead animal because it smells Dead animal. Oh, I do. I think that that's an old grave site and that the body of an animal is wrapped up in that tarp. So, this is three. I don't know if I'm going to go any deeper there. Probably fine. And this one I So, I've dug one, two, three, four, five, six holes. You go poochie. Are you so excited that it's not a million degrees outside? She had a good day playing with Huron yesterday and she's tired pooch. And now Chris is all on puppy fever. His hole is not level, so he has to dig and he has two nasty blisters, so ouchie, ouchie. just saw this big zucchini and the chickens have <laughs> eaten into it. I'll just pick it off and give it to them. stuff everywhere. We have zucchini that they were already eating in the garden, so we cut it up. Just had the rest of the watermelon. Just threw a watermelon in the little thing there. Stuff everywhere. Huh. I'm going to show you an update. I have to be okay with it not being perfect. The landscape ties are warped, and so they don't fit together perfectly. But I knew that going in. Plus, I, I'm just cutting them, you know, with a chainsaw if I need to make cuts. Um, I ran a mason string to make sure that everything was in alignment. Um, and I have everything good except for uh, one top ring. So I'll show you 
what it looks like uh, after the first day. All right, guys, here it is. So, there's the mason string. It comes down this hill. So, I have a gap here and for some reason my measurements were off and uh, those are eight feet and that's probably eight feet four inches <laughs> so I'm about four inches short so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there um, but again it it's coming together I mean it it looks pretty good um, for what it is it's gonna do the job once I get the wire the mesh wire in um, but productive day hard day i've got blisters on my fingers uh, and it's all for you and these guys <laughs> now it's fun to work with your hands um, it was nice to just focus on that all day and not anything else um, the chickens are still kind of roaming around we threw out a bunch of zucchini and things that um, we weren't going to eat and they've been eating on that um, it's a really nice night our airbnb guests are having fun down there we can hear them um, but yeah wake up tomorrow and do it all over again everybody I uh, picked our garden beds this morning and this is the hall a couple cucumbers I just grabbed one of the carrots to see where they were a lot of uh, cherry tomatoes and a big tomato so we're at tractor supply um, we came to Bangor yesterday because online said that um, they had these gates and they didn't so we did a trip for nothing so we made sure to call today we're in Augusta and we're getting um, a six foot farm gate that has the mesh on it and an eight footer. Um, that way that the chickens, I mean, the chickens are gonna fly over the coop <laughs> regardless or over the fencing if they want. I was trying to get Chris to see it in the background. Um, the chickens will fly over, but it'll help kind of keep them in maybe. And then it'll help with Billy because if not, the other gates kind of have I don't know if you can see really see over there or not um they have like the wider um holes in it so belly could stick her head in it so if we get the other oh, comings the um, ones with the mesh in it she can't stick her head through it it'll just help a little bit but we'll get better pictures when we get home but that's chris's project this week because he's on vacation and that's what he wanted to do broke the corn up into four and they've rolled it down the hill. They like it. So we went to Tractor Supply today and he got his six foot gate and an eight foot gate. So there's the, that looks like the six foot one right there. Digging holes. this girl on Etsy that hand draws. I was looking for chicken stickers and so then I got some more stuff but are these cute? And I got that one for my sister. That's her um, shop. That's so cute. Bennett. What's up buddy? Go do your little dance. Pretty nice view for morning coffee. This is the first huggle that Belly got. He's hanging on by some threads. She says, Mom, what are you talking about? 
she just had her little paws crossed. It was so cute. Okay, I stopped talking. said wait for me wait for me good morning good morning happy saturday i was on the road early this morning went down to rockland to get uh, 40 of those landscape timbers for the fencing um, which was awesome so those are all in the back of the truck i should have videotaped that i'm sorry uh, for not getting that, but uh, I was able to find them finally, so I can work on the fencing later today and tomorrow. But first, I'm going to head into the woods. Really need to get the food plot planted today. Um, so I'm loading up all the things I'm going to need, and I will uh, vlog when I'm in the woods. Little work, buddy. Usually I don't bring her down, but Chris went into the woods, and I'm finishing up cleaning here, taking my time because I can have the extra time today. <laughs> She's just funny. All right, into the woods we go. So far, this is what this looks like. I'd like to get some of that cleaned up and some of that big tree, possibly. I just, I mean, the projects turn bigger and bigger and bigger the more that you do. Uh, wanted to show you what I carried back here. Just realized that I was forgetting my chains to haul out um, trees or anything and so I need to go back but here's what I've got for the project today white tail, white tail imperial no plow um, seed in the cedar uh, the chainsaw obviously a rake some trimmers hatchet my safety gear and all my chainsaw equipment got some bug spray in there uh gas and barn chain oil um, but i forgot my chains so i need to go unload this stuff go back and um, get the chains so that if i do go after that tree i can drag it out so i will go do that and see if i can set up the camera to do a little bit of a time lapse um, i've got the box blade on the back of the tractor so I can work the dirt a little bit. There's some of the trees I've already removed that I need to cut up. But it's really nice today. It's uh, in the 70s, a lot cooler than it's been, so it's nice to be in the woods. If you just saw the time lapse, the food plot is planted. And then I ran the seed over with uh, the tractor once I planted it so that it hopefully got good ground to seed contact. Well, hoping for the best. We need some moisture to try to get this to take, but it'll be a nice little area if it grows up for the deer. All right, he said he's gonna see if he got the right size to fit the tractor through the door. What if you raise the bucket up? What? Raise the bucket up. Oh yeah, it's gonna fit. Like a glove. What? 
I said like a glove. Anyone know that reference? If you didn't know the reference, it's from Ace Ventura. Pet detective. Gotta fix, because when <laughs> we were doing the chicken fence, it didn't really matter if it was level, but it matters now. And the ground, we're gonna have to bring dirt to like level it up, but obviously we need to level it up on this side. Huh, Bally? Daddy's doing a lot of extra work for you. Better enjoy it. Remember a couple months, like probably two months ago when he made, oh, we're gonna get stuck. We gotta go this way. Um, Chris made a fence a couple months ago. Come on, Billy. Well, he doesn't like it. So he's gonna rip it all up. He doesn't like all those T posts. So he's gonna rip them all up so that everything is like unison looking. <laughs> She's so pretty. I don't usually give them this in the day because it's super hot and it takes, um, I guess, a lot for them to burn it off. But now that it's cool. Here, chick, 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 chick. Oh, are you excited? Here they come. Here, chick, 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 chick. <laughs> oh, it's still so funny. Here you go. Here, chick, 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 chick. Come on. Come on, chick, 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 chick. Here you go. Gail's over there, the rooster, and that looks like Joan's like, eh. You need me to put it right at my feet? <laughs> oh, you decided you wanted some after all? You too? Guys, I don't know if you can really tell how large he is. Marilyn right there. I put some over there for you. I already put some over there. Yeah. PETA's our vocal girl. Yeah, PETA. <laughs> You're fine. So excited. So I got a red gladiola that just came in. I got another white one and this like pink one and 
I guess the darker pink ones because these are like more pink than purple and this this is the only dark one that I got but where's the I'm so excited Chris likes them too so that's why I was gonna say we're so excited but I think I'm more excited than he is can't really I guess if I get really close you can see the colors pretty awesome we're gonna finish the fencing today ripping it up we got the chain that we were pulling everything up with yesterday stuck so that's where the tractor laid and chickens are already free ranging and belly's you can't even see her she's laying behind that rock she loves it out there well i've been pretty lucky today digging holes until this one so i've been working about 20 minutes trying to get this stone out hopefully it's gonna come soon and i'll show you what it looks like there she blows. <laughs> Thanks to this pry bar, I was able to get it out. But that is one big hole to get a fence. <laughs> that little fence post, that's, it took that big of a hole to get that rock out. And the fencing continues. I'm replacing this back fence that I did uh, with T-posts and the cattle panel that was left from the previous owners. Um, the cattle panel is really bent and I, you know, after be living with it for a month or two, I just didn't love the look of it and kind of want wooden posts for it to match all the way around. So one post at a time, dug them all out. They're all kind of leaning now. I got to level them up and get the top pieces on and, um, uh, it's just, it's quite a project, but, uh. It's really nice out today. It's only in the 70s, so it makes working outside a lot better. What do you have? Well, I was cleaning the barn, and I was like, nah. Somebody laid in their first eggy. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's tiny. <laughs> it is tiny. So I have to set up the nesting boxes now. Yeah, we do. And I need to check to see. There might be some more somewhere. <laughs> So we have some golf balls and we're going to train the chickens how to um, play eggs. Golf ball in there, golf balls in there, and one on this side. So hopefully they know to go in there and that's their home of where they're going to lay eggs because where I found the egg was I was putting shavings down here to cover up their poop and that's where the egg was, was in there. <laughs> So, I don't know if it was a fluke or if we're going to get we're more gonna eggs. We're going to find out. So I'm obsessed looking for eggs. And we found another one under there. So, um, you're not going to be able to see it. So, he's going to try to get it without breaking it. It's caught up in the... Yeah, I don't break it. The landscape. Oh, it's broken. Oh. It's just cracked. Look at that little egg. <laughs> it's just cracked. Oh my goodness. They're teeny, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> that is the tiniest. Oh my goodness. Like, that is a baby little egg. So I can see in the... Another one. Chris is like, we're gonna have to board it up because I don't know how we're gonna get the other one that's in there. But this one is so freaking cute. It's so tiny. I'm bummed that it has a crack on it, but I really don't know how. Like, there's another little tiny one. I don't know if I can see any other ones. Is that your eggy? <laughs> Look at it. Oh, I guess you can see it. Look at it. Guys, I'm so excited. It's like a tr it's like Easter finding the eggs. Ain't that your egg? Or that your egg? Huh? In shining chicken armor. <laughs> we found three more eggs. So we have four total. Sorry about the poop on my hand because there's poop everywhere, but they were way under the deck but these are so cute a little baby one this one's like a white pinkish color and then this one has speckles on it 
So these are from the light Brahmas, which are the white chickens. But we put the nesting boxes up as you saw earlier, but so fun. Time for another quarantine haircut. You showered. And you got a big soap blob on your ear. Whatever I have. Find your ear, big soap boogie, but looks better than it did. Yeah.